Hey there, Celestial Sightseers. Let's talk penumbral eclipses, because when most people hear the word eclipse, they think something like this, or something like this. And yes, those things are really, really awesome, and they're really cool to see, and they're definitely events that you should try to see if you have a clear sky, or if you happen to be in the path of, say, something like an annual solar eclipse. But penumbral lunar eclipses are a completely different thing, even though they're kind of caused by the same forces. So I've got two lights going right here, but I only need one that's going to act as the sun. So give me one second and I'm going to turn off a light. I'll be back. Okay, so that's the sun. This is the earth. It's spinning and we've got the moon. Note, this is not to scale. Also, this moon happens to glow. Different colors even. So with the moon, it goes around the Earth, and as it does so, it is tipped at an angle of about five degrees. Now, the moon itself only has subtends a half a degree in the sky, so you could actually cover that with your pinky, because if you hold your pinky out at arm's length, the distance across your pinky is about one degree, so you can cover that entire massive-looking harvest moon in October with just your pinky, because it's only half a degree across. So because it's only half a degree across and the tilt is five degrees, it's not always going to create a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse each time the moon goes around the Earth. So what happens is, is we call those areas where the moon is going across the ecliptic, which is the line that the sun appears to trace in the sky, with that plane that the moon goes around, when those two things cross, they're called nodes. When it's going from north to south, we call it descending node. When it's going from south to north, we call it ascending node. And when those nodes happen, when the moon is either opposite the sun from the earth or between the sun and the earth, then we either get a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse. But because that angle is tilted, when it doesn't quite hit the node exactly, then we get something called a penumbral eclipse, which means that instead of that darkest part of the shadow completely blocking the moon and giving that, that nice dark blood red color, it's only partially in shadow. So a portion of the shadow of the Earth blocks that, but most of it's still in light. It's not fully in light, like most times that it goes around, but it is partially in that. And you can kind of see how that changes. Look at that. See, it's a little bit different, but then umbral, it's all the way dark, but penumbral, not quite very dark and not very interesting to look at. So that's when you kind of get a reaction like this. Oh. Penumbral lunar eclipse. Oh, an eclipse? Mm-hmm. Oh. Pink. Yeah, exactly. So penumbral eclipse, not the dark kind, not the full moon either, but maybe interesting to watch, enough to maybe pay attention to and just look up and say, hey, that's kind of cool, and now you're smart enough to explain it to somebody else. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and check out my other videos where I help people find interesting things in the night sky to see with telescopes, binoculars, or naked eye as well as how to use telescopes and even just get oriented in the night sky on my channel, Eyes on the Sky. Thanks for watching. Penumbral solar eclipse. Oh. I said penumbral solar eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again, take two. Penumbral lunar eclipse. I was communicating with lights with a, I don't know what the f I'm saying, but let's just go with it. <laughs> Penumbral lunar eclipse. Oh, an eclipse. Yeah. Oh, I think I have to go poop.